In this session, we're going to talk about the difference between credit spread duration and credit risk. So, first of all, what are credit spreads? Therefore, let's compare a core government bond with a corporate bond. As you know, both governments and companies can turn to the market for funding. When, as in this example, the German government needs to access the capital market for funding, the issued bonds are considered as risk-free investments. Risk-free because you as an investor can be sure you will get your principal back at maturity. This is however not necessarily the case if you lend money to a company. If a company, let's say BMW, wants to refinance in the capital market, the company has to compensate investors for the additional risk. Risk such as the probability of default or lower liquidity, which can make it harder to trade a bond compared to a government bond. Further to that, the analysis of such a company or the company structure to essentially identify bondholder rights can be time consuming, which is why investors demand a, comple a complexity premium. So the difference between the yield of a BMW bond minus the risk-free rate will give us the risk premium of such uh, security. As an investor, you want credit spreads to tighten, which means a lower yield, or in other words, a higher bond price. Now, let's talk about credit spread duration. Credit spread duration is a useful indicator to measure the portfolio beta and is one of the key instruments uh, to assess the sensitivity of a bond or a portfolio to market moves. So, if credit spreads widen by 100 basis points, for example, a portfolio with a spread duration of 2.5 years will result in a minus 2.5% return, assuming all else stays equal. There are two things that influence credit spread duration. First, the coupon. A smaller coupon means a lower cash flow and hence a higher sensitivity to price changes. Second, the duration of a bond. The longer the lifetime of a bond, the bigger is the impact of spread changes on the underlying price. As you can see, Unity Media pays a lower coupon and has a longer lifetime compared to Valiant and therefore a higher price sensitivity to credit spread changes, in that example 8.2 years. Now, important and something that is often mistaken, credit spread duration is not an indicator of credit risk. Credit risk is the risk of default and the main indicator for this is the credit rating. Picture this, the longer dated bond of Unity Media has a high credit spread duration and is therefore sensitive to market moves. However, credit risk or the probability of default is significantly lower than the triple C rated security of Valiant. So whenever you speak about a bond, make sure you properly distinguish those two terms.